All right, guys, what's going on? This is a PS3 tutorial for you for the new 4.50 custom firmwares, and this is going to be how to install the Multiman version 4.50.02. This is the CEX base, DEX base, and the Stealthman installation. I will be showing you how to install this stealthily. Now, I will be putting all these files in a zip uh, for you guys, and uh, basically, I'm just going to do that right now in the video. So here we go, and I'm just going to say add to archive. And after I do this, uh, select zip, and you will see that it'll be Multiman 04.4.04.50.02 CEX DEX Stealth, and uh, it'll all be in a zip file format. And um, give the best compression here and click OK. So I'm going to allow this to compress here and you will see I'll show you the file I'm going to have all you guys download in a minute and while that is doing that I'm going to show you the files that will be in these uh, in this file that you download. So first things first the first file that will be there is the Multiman version 04.50.02 base CEX. This is going to be used on CEX base custom firmware. So if you accidentally install the CEX on DEX or installed DEX on CEX, it simply will not run the multi-man and you will just have to use the other installer package file. Uh, for an example, uh, the Rogero, uh, Rebug, and uh, Habib, Fairfox, and, uh, or Ferrix, and uh, Alexander, and Arc custom firmware is usually are CEX base, and CEX base is retail base. The next file you will see is the DEX base version of that file and that is for demo custom firmware. This is for developers of homebrew and the shit like that that like to test uh, and uh, also for people that usually use modding online for an example uh, the Modern Warfare 2 packs that you can install and uh, use that for uh, modded lobbies. Now that's uh, for demo console firmwares only so that's DEX custom firmware uh, which there is uh, Rogero PS uh, or no not Rogero, Rebug, PS Rita, and uh, I believe um, Custom Firmware Evo has uh, a dex based custom firmware out as well. Now, the Stealth Pack is simply the installation of the Stealth packages that will allow you to have a Stealth version multi man. And this basically runs everything off the XMB and allows it to look like a regular console to Sony. So that's that. So those are the files here. Now, here's the file I'm going to have you download that I just created right before your eyes Multi Man 4. 0.50.02 CEX DEX and Stealth and it's uh, 2013 10.13 so double click on that and open it up and you will see the files in there and so forth like that uh, here's this actually shouldn't even fucking be in there because I deleted it alright so the files I'm gonna have in here are the Stealth CEX and DEX base uh, multi-man installations and uh, there's also the new showtime for this multi-man as well you will have to install this showtime manually on your console because it is not included with the multi-man uh, installation so keep that in mind so if you have a CEX base uh, custom firmware uh, you're gonna have to install the CEX base showtime and etc for the DEX custom firmware so what you're gonna do now is simply I'm gonna be installing this on a CEX based console if you have a DEX console you're just gonna follow this along in the DEX formation and uh, I'm going to show you how to place this on your USB stick so without further ado first things what you're gonna do is uh, simply I'm just gonna get rid of the files on here from uh, the last time I installed the multi-man uh, so let me just get rid of these real quick and where the hell is it report data and just delete that real quick okay now First things first, like I said, I'm CEX, so I'm going to be installing the CEX base multi-man. So first things first, what you're going to do is take the multi-man version 0 0.4, uh, 0.4.50.02 base CEX, in parentheses 2013-1013, package, and drag and drop that to the root of the USB that you're going to be using to install this file. Once you've done that and allow that to copy over, the second thing what you're going to do is you're going to, there we are, now you're going to call this, you're going to label it, instead of Multiman version 04.50.02 base CEX, yada yada yada, delete all of that and capital I, N S T A L L, capital P K G dot P K G. You want it to be called install package dot P K G. So capital I, install, 
capital PKG, dot PKG. If you're running Windows 8, you do not need to put the dot PKG there because the domain is already there for you in the Windows 8 operating system. Now, further and foremost to do, moving on. The Multiman version 04.50.02 Stealth. Double click on that. Well, actually, we'll do the Showtime first. Get the Showtime over there. So drag and drop the Showtime package for your select console. Uh, for me, it's going to be CEX. So leave that over there like that. Now, double click on the Multiman version. Yada yada Stealth. So this is the Stealth pack you're going to be using. Ignore the README text because it's going to tell you the exact same thing that I'm going to be telling you now. And uh, simply what you're going to do is just take this report data text. Ow, cat just clawed my leg. Uh, take the report data and drag and drop that to the root of the USB stick as well. So allow that to copy over like so. Once you copy that over, this is what you're going to do now. After all that's copied over, we have the multi-man, uh, either CEX or DEX at base uh, for... Uh, uh, and renamed as install pkg again capital i in install and capital pkg dot pkg and also windows 8 you don't need to point the pkg there because it's already there mac same exact way we have the showtime for the cex or dex depending on what firmware you're running and the report data text on the root of the usb stick now simply what you're going to do is i'm just going to meet you guys at the ps3 and we're going to install this real quick and i will show you how to install this properly so you can be running stealth man version 4.50 so let's go ahead and do that and i'll meet you guys there all right so here we are at the ps3 and simply what you're going to do is you're going to take your usb and you're going to plug it into the far right usb stick or well usb port so take that and plug it in and I'm just going to go over here real quick and I'm going to delete my old multi-man uh, just for the sake of saying that I'm not bullshitting you. As you can see it's 158 megabytes, uh, that's the stealth version that I was running. Alright, so anyways, after, uh, after you get to your PS3 and you're going to install this new multi-man, if you have an older version of multi-man, delete it and just do a fresh clean install, it'll work every time, guaranteed. Uh, so what you're going to do is click on install packages and what you're going to see is the install pkg dot pkg click X on that so press X and allow that to install and we're almost done okay so now that that's finished hit circle and go back what you're going to do now is I'm going to scroll down here and I'm simply going to show you the multi-man here and uh, if we go to information and scroll down you'll see that it's 43 megabytes version 4.50 so now we have backup compatibility on 450 custom firmware by the way I'm running 450 uh, Ferox CEX based custom firmware now what you're gonna do is go to install package files again and scroll down until you see the whoa until you see the uh, the install pkg dot pkg and press start on it this time you're going to get a prompt, hit yes, and allow it to install again. Now this is not installing the multi-man, by the way. It's installing the report data text uh, from the root of the USB that we put on there uh, to your system. Now what you're going to do is scroll down here and go to my unknown. And I'm just going to list this in my backup managers real quick. Album, do 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 no, well, backup managers, start back. All right, cool. On up. So we have the multi-man installed. If you click information again, you will still see that it's only 43 megabytes. Press X and start up multi-man. So allow multi-man to start. Multi-man will boot up with the normal prompt, and it will ask you three times, uh, three parts of the license agreement. Agree to all three of those. Hit yes on every single one and allow the little multi-man face to come up it'll apply the standard theme and you'll see the face and then underneath the face you should see the uh, like a little refresh icon there it is right there and if you see that that means you have successfully installed stealth man and now it's just uh, applying the report data text uh, to the multi-man itself and there you are. You are now running Stealth Man. And how you can tell is that certain homebrews are Stealth Man compatible. Uh, and uh, also the Multiman SingStar that you installed on your system, or if you ever had SingStar uh, for 4.46 custom firmwares, 
or or no, 4.41 custom firmware is my mistake. Uh, but it'll pick up that. It'll also pick up your PS2 Classics Manager and other um, emulators and things like that that you may have on your drive. So keep that in mind. Uh, but that's that. Now what you're going to do is uh, for the uh, Showtime installation, we'll go do that. So I'm going to quit Multiman and go to the XMB real quick and install Showtime. Uh, and uh, show you how to do that real quick. Just because I'm nice, I guess. I don't know. Alright, so back at the XMB, all you're going to do is simply scroll up to Install Package Files. And what you're going to do is scroll down till you see the Showtime 4.03. 0.536 CEX or DEX based depending on what system you have press X on that and allow that to install to the system once that's installed it'll install the Showtime Mac to uh, your uh, multi-man and uh, I don't believe it comes up here anywhere oh yeah it does and uh, you'll see Showtime here in the TV video series as well so thanks for watching hope this helps enjoy your new stealth multi-man uh, version 4.50 be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Check out my website, software-reborn.com, where you will find all the downloads and other installations for other software and hardware, such as Xbox and all that fun jazz. Uh, I will be introducing a lot more Xbox because I will be getting the latest one. Uh, so I'm looking to get into that scene when it's fresh on the water. Uh, but yeah, so uh, check out uh, my Twitter, uh, at death 333 Again, it will be Software Reborn soon, just to let you guys know. And also... If you will, follow my uh, electronic software blog on the Google blog forms. And also, uh, feel free to donate to my channel for more materials and stuff like you. And I'd like to say that the donations and the revenue that I collected from Google has um, helped me uh, purchase a tablet, uh, the, uh, the Surface Pro. Uh, and I will be making tutorials with that soon. So enjoy, guys. I'll talk to you later. And stay tuned for more.